Hi, this is Safari K here, and I'm with um, Vicki Suka. Vicki has traveled with me on numerous safaris, so this is not her first rodeo. She's, um, I, I would say, at least 8 to 10, and she's been on her own safaris prior to um, traveling with Destin to travel several times as well. So, I'm just going to find out from Vicki why... Uh, she keeps returning, what makes her come back, and what's really important about coming back. Vicki. I cannot imagine not returning to Africa. Uh, when I, uh, my first trip to Africa, the experience was unlike anything I've ever had. It was almost, it was a, almost a spiritual, uh, um, uh, I a, a sense that I had gone to another planet. It was so unique, not, like nothing I had ever experienced. Uh, when I I come to Africa, I have uh, just an incredible sense of calm, peace, serenity. And I absolutely am addicted to the pampering, the, the attention, and uh, the folks here not only are the nicest people I've ever met on any trips that I've traveled in my past 40, 50, 60 years, uh, but uh, I find that um, they're, they have such a willingness to accommodate you. It is the only place that I have ever traveled that I feel as if it, I'm, I'm royalty and am treated like that. I've never had that experience with any other trips. It's only when traveling to Kenya, Tanzania, and Tanzania. Wow, that's great. That's pretty deep, and that's uh, something that everybody should listen to. So thank you for those words. Now, I know you've stayed at a lot of different properties between Kenya and Tanzania. Um, offer a few insight into, you know, people think that we're staying and we're doing camping, and we obviously are not. So give me your feelings on that. Oh, the accommodations are nothing like I've ever experienced anywhere. Um, the personalized service, I've never in my life had people, uh, have, uh, have I had a butler take care of me from morning until night, uh, have my clothes taken care of, uh, food, they are always willing, the, the people here seem to always be willing to accommodate your every request, uh, very in, in tune to um, making that they have such pride in their culture, their country, that they all seem to have an incredible commitment to ensuring that every person that leaves is uh, more than satisfied. It, uh, after my first trip, all my concerns regarding Africa uh, were dispelled. I now consider Africa safer than the United States. That is saying something. And what do you think about this uh, latest scare that has people not coming to Africa? Because as you've seen, it's been pretty um, vacant in most of the properties that we've been to. So what do, you, what do you attribute that to, and why do you think people are not coming? I'm saddened to see the, uh, this uh, country relies on tourism to such extent. It has allowed their culture and their, their general economic stability to elevate. Uh, back to the question, though, about it. I'm saddened that to hear that uh, it, anywhere from two-thirds to three-fourths of people have canceled trips due to fears of Ebola. And even on this trip, 
I had multiple people asking me, why on earth are you going with this Ebola epidemic, seeming very unaware that um, there, uh, number one, there's not a documented case of Ebola in Kenya. Uh, the screening procedures for getting into the country are now you are temperature screened and uh, uh, that they are trying everything they can to put people at ease. Um, and and I, like I said, I'm saddened that they're hurt by this because of ignorance on the part of for, for the most part, people in the United States that are speaking about their concerns have no idea that the epicenter of the epidemic is confined to Sierra Leone, uh, I believe Guinea, uh, uh, and Nigeria has resolved their issues. Uh, the, the other concern is that I'm struck by only the people that have asked me about it are those who have not traveled here and are familiar with the geography of this continent as well as uh, the, uh, I, I'm very impressed with the, uh, there's a personality characteristic that this culture cultivates and that is that um, uh, you see, you have a sense of pride, and you exhibit that pride by taking care of your visitors. And, and I do agree agree with that. But what what I'm what I struggle with sometimes is, what is it that makes people say, "Why would I want to go to Africa? Why is it so difficult to get people to travel to Africa?" Aside from the fact that we know. It can be pricey, but knowing that uh, you you do have payment plans, you do have time to plan. What is it that that you think that people are hesitant about? Do you think it's the negative image, or, or what? What do you think? I think certainly uh, my family has uh, uh, has uh, have have been concerned about my safety. Uh, they have uh, very bizarre ideas that um, it's uh, not only the safety but that uh, mythical ideas of uh, tribesmen uh, capturing you or uh, ideas of uh, just very strange um, uh, misunderstandings about Africa and what it represents. The other thing that I think that people uh, have trouble with, uh, I've seen this repeatedly, is when you plan a trip of this magnitude, the planning requires a minimum of a year, if not more. For me, I am able to go to Africa because I know that I've got to budget and that it's going to be a year to two year long process before the trip and I make accommodations for that and it has not been an issue. When people look at how much they spend, people may spend $10,000 on, on uh, uh, going to Disneyland uh, one uh, for a few weeks and uh, going on, on various trips uh, to, I hear about going to Hawaii, uh, thinking that that is, yes, that could be possibly, but, but when it's broken down, no, I don't believe that. It's more a matter of people have tremendous difficulty anticipating and planning for this. This is not something that you get on a plane and do. Uh, like for instance, if you were to go to Hawaii, you could schedule a trip next week and, and uh, be gone in a month, uh, aside from the financial issues. So I think that scares people. 
Okay. And you, you've been on a number of trips now with my company, Destined to Travel. And you know my safaris are pretty customized to the group. Uh, how do you feel that that has impacted your decision to go, and how do you think that that, uh, is that an advantage or a disadvantage? Well, having traveled with other companies, I will not travel to Africa uh, unless I'm accompanied by you because the, uh, the personalized service, having someone handle everything, uh, ensures that when I come here, I don't have to, I can, uh, I can put all worries aside and simply enjoy the experience. Uh, the I see things, the, the culture is nothing like I've ever experienced anywhere else. The, um, the people, the, um, uh, the accommodations are as outstanding, but uh, to uh, the, the other companies that I have traveled with, do a, a type of cookie cutter like uh, plan and uh, I think you get far far better value when you're not having to go through a large corporate company and uh, and for that very reason I've seen in, uh, when I've made comparisons incredible uh, differences so, no, there would be no, no chance that I would ever travel to Africa unless it was handled by you and your company. Well, thank you very much for that. And the last thing I wanted to ask you is, how do you think traveling to Africa all the times that you have, because you've been at least 10, 15 times maybe, how do you think it has affected you uh, at home when you're not in Africa? Oh, I... I uh, I kid my my family and friends. They're very aware aware of. Uh, I I started traveling and I had never been uh, international until 2005 when I made uh, my first trip to Africa. I had done uh, uh, traveling in uh, the Central America and uh, the United States and Canada, uh, but. Um, nothing like a 19-hour flight to the other part of the world. Uh, so, yeah. So would you would you say because you know people always say you know I can't travel that far. So would you say that the the journey experience that you've had is well worth the 19 or 22 hours that you have to travel? Oh, initially I thought I would if if uh, if I could I had concerns about making. Uh, the not two nine-hour jaunts that that are required to get to either Nairobi or Arusha, and uh, having gone multiple times, you develop uh, little tricks for handling uh, both flights, long flights, and uh, so for me that is not an issue at all any longer. In fact, uh, if someone said it'll be 30 hours, I'd say, well, you're going to have to book me anyway because, again, it's the only place that I travel to that I have such a sense of, of uh, uh, constant, continuous excitement, enthusiasm, as I said, in another world, looking at... Uh, it's not just the animals, although that's certainly, again, a, <laughs> it's, that's certainly a big part of it. And to, and when I am not in Africa, I spend my time uh, reading about it, uh, looking through my pictures, and and it's I've developed somewhat of an addiction, I think. <laughs> well, like me, I'm also an aphrodisiac. <laughs> I love Africa. I can be in Africa, oh my God, a great deal of the time. And like you, when I'm not in Africa, I'm thinking about Africa. I'm going through my pictures. I'm going through my experiences. I'm thinking about it, all the things that we did, and still amazed at the excitement 
um, that no matter how many times I've been, and it's been over 40, that I'm still excited and can't wait to get back. So that's, I, that's amazing. I agree. People have asked me several times, why do you keep going back? You've been, already been there and seen it. And I tell them, unless you go, you will never experience, have that understanding. It would, uh, and secondly, um, the, any, you can go to exact same uh, place, uh, the exact same lodge, and you'll have a completely different safari experience each and every time. You will never have the same thing. You will never have a sense of boredom. If anything, it not only provides a sense of, of uh, serenity to me, it's a, 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 just a, a, such an enjoyable thing, but an education. I am constantly learning more and more about whether it be various species, uh, uh, the the uh, political uh, ramifications, how people live here, and it's given me a different look on how I see my life now and what is important to me. Well, thank you very much for sharing your views. I, I truly appreciate it, and I just want you to know that I so appreciate all the times that you supported Destin to Travel traveled with me and uh, had confidence that you would enjoy the journey, as we say. <laughs> so is there anything else that you would like to say? When is our next trip? <laughs> Great <laughs> question. That trip is actually going to be less than two months away in February 2015. So I look forward to another great experience with you, and thank you so much for sharing all your views and your thoughts about this trip and all that Africa has to offer. Thank you.